Say yes to new beginnings. Yes. Say yes to new beginnings. Yes. Say yes to. Ah, all right. Now, ah, other than your pastors, you know, which you are currently pursuing, what are the other new things that are happening in your life? Oh yeah, by pursuing my um, pa- um, masters was from you know working with. I work with um, children with special needs. You understand, um, like autistic. Um, kids and all that, you know. And now I'm pursuing my master's in that area as well, working with them and writing policies, you know, make um, policies of how to include them in the society, you know. You know, because if you, if you see things like, um, if we have autistic um, um, children here and Down syndrome, the way they are treated, you know, and um, how they are included in the society. So that is what I'm reading, how to include them. In um, in um, in the society, which is what I've been that's the area that I've been working with all this time, you know. Oh, 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 all right. Now, yes, God has been nice to you as a person. What more do you want from God? I'm quite grateful that, that God has been good. God has been good. I will really say God has been very faithful, and um, yeah, um, I, I just want a good. A good life, good health. That's what that's what I'm, I'm actually after right now. I'm over fifty now, so what, what what I need now is to be healthy. Make sure that I'm healthy. I age gracefully, and that is all I can ask for. I have lovely children. I have a family, you know. So I I believe that um, God has been very good. So I will only ask right now for God to just you know give me good health. And yeah, when should your fans? When next should they look forward to seeing you in a movie? Actually, came back with an M M M song to shoot um, uh, one or two movies, you know, um, because she she moved to England now. So we met there, and we are talking about you know working together. You know, since she's there as well with her family, so we don't have to be coming here all the time to shoot. That we could yeah. be doing things together, you know. England. So she wanted me to come and see how they work here, actually, because I've not worked here for a long time, you know, so which is why I came. I've seen what they do, you know, worked on two sets with her, and I also went to work with Shan in Calabar, you know, in um, Obudu Ranch. So yeah, um, those will be out soon. I don't know how soon. And we are coming back again in August. We have so many, about two um, production that we are coming back for in August, me and MM as well, you know, to come and uh, work on that. So I'll, I think they'll be seeing more of me now because right. my, daughter is, uh, my daughter is 17 now, so she's a big girl now, so I can leave her, you know. Then the problem was leaving, leaving the kids, you know, um, without their mother. But now the kids yeah. are men and the kids are men and women, so, <laughs> so now I can really come back. And uh, what fun memories of your days on the set of Deadly Affair and Glamour Girls do you still remember? I mean, those were two of your biggest productions oh, then. Oh, yeah, I know, yeah. Um, Glamour Girls, wow. Glamour Girls was one massive production by Kenneth Neighbor. I remember we like, went to the group. We went, yes, next year, I went to his village, you know, and I always remember that Nick is one person that treats actors very well. In those that were days, if you Nick mm-hmm. on next um, um, set, he was like one of the best sets that we had then, because he actually respects actors, you understand, and he treats actors very well. So I remember I was going to is he has he had this massive house, a mansion, in, which was where we shot as Italy. <laughs> you understand? So because the house was very big and with everything, just name it here. The house had it. So uh, that's a memorable um um set sure. that I was on, you know, we were we were yeah, experienced, we were well looked after, well, you know, taken care of and the whole thing, it just it was a very good production, and I enjoyed it. On Deadly Affair, hmm, 
the second part of deadly affair was um was uh, more more interesting for me than the first one because in the second part we had made a massive name you understand the first part was was a trial and but it went viral that um Papa Williams, I remember Papa Williams saw me on the road. I went in his booth and was giving me money. Say, Dolly, Dolly, go, go. Ah, mama, this, that he, he was so happy with the sales of, um, he, of, um, the um then the affair that he was dashing me money from the book. Yes, the part one. So when we did the part two, it was, it was very good as well, you know, because I, I did a lot of the job. I, the person that played, uh, I think Emeka was not in it, so it was all on me, sort of, you know. It, most of the parts I, I had to, they had to rewrite the script when they, when they fell out with Emeka, you understand? So they had to rewrite the script and um, gave me most of the roles. So it was, it was very challenging and, yeah, very good as well. What would you like to say to your fans, especially those who have been missing uh, Dolly, Uchebo, I would like to say to them that I love them very much. Without them, I would not be here. Without my fans, you know, I'm nobody. So I would like to say I love them and look forward because I've been having a lot of them. Um, oh, when are you coming back? Where are you? You know, some of them actually make me very sober. You know, when they write some things on my instagram that oh please we want to see yours it makes me sober kind of you know so i i want to tell them that i'm i'm coming back i have so much plans for the uh, nollywood right now so i have about two scripts you know massive ones that we want to a, a big project that we are coming back in august to shoot so i just would like to tell them to just keep watching this space you know and i love them and I'm going to be on their screens pretty soon.